Okay, welcome back to this Revit architecture tutorial. We're continuing to lay out the curtain wall here. If you would like to go back and figure out how to lay out the storefront, we did that in a past video, but we're going to move ahead with laying out the new main entrance here on the south end. So let's just go into our floor plan view first. And I'm going to come down this south wall. I know that our main entrance is between bays C and D just for locating it. And this time we're going to use the curtain wall tool. And you'll see that I'm just going to come in and I know as far as locating this within bays C and D, I know that we're about four foot off of the grid lines on one edge and then we're two foot off on the other edge. So from C, I'm going to come down four foot with my temporary dimension. And I'm just going to lay this out coming all the way down here. And I'm just going to hit my escape key. And you can see I have a section of curtain wall now. But the error that we got let us know that right now it's not being cut through. So you wouldn't see this in the 3D view right now. But I just want to go ahead and take a look at it here. And we know that this section of curtain wall is going to be 14 feet. So let's do the same thing that we did before with our temporary dimension. Let's pull that temporary dimension back over to this grid line lock it in at four foot and then let's change this to the 14 feet that we need it to be. So now that we know it's in the proper location, let's cut it into the wall. To cut it into the wall, if you come up to the modify tab and we're just going to use our cut geometry tool and I'm going to select that. So let's select the host wall and then let's select the curtain wall to cut into it. And now you can see that that exterior wall has been cut back around the piece of curtain wall that we put into put here. So if we come back to this 3D view now, you'll see what appears to be just a piece of curtain wall just glazing at this point. We haven't put any mullions or dimensions to it, but you can see that we do have that glazing in here. So now if I come back here, now we need to lay in the mullions that we'll need and designate what each panel will hold because we do have doors in this curtain wall assembly. So back up to architectural, the curtain grid. And I know that we have a four foot piece of glass on either end. So I'm just going to lay myself a mullion here and we're gonna come four foot from the other side as well. And that leaves us our six foot as you can see in the middle. So there we go. And then we're going to come in and lay in the horizontal bays as well. And you'll see I can do all segments at one time or we can do one segment. So if I use my one segment, you'll see in here I'm just laying out each one of my side panels here. So I could come up just two feet. And then we had the same four, four foot three on this end. So I can select this grid line and make sure that it is four foot three. So we can add some segments at this point. And I'm just going to add a segment on this edge and click OK for that. And we can just escape out. Then I'm going to select this grid line. We can use add remove segments. And anywhere that is dash, if you just select on it, that'll create the grid line for that bay as well. So this is the outline that we're looking for here because we're going to have a set of double doors here in the middle. And then these are going to be our grid lines. So the next thing let's do, I just want to go ahead and assign something. So to this panel in the center, the door. So if I just tab through here and select this glazed panel, let's take a look here. Right now, 
as far as the panels, there's only a system panel assigned. We need to load a family here. So if we come up here to insert, we're going to use load family. And we're going to come out here to curtain wall panels. And under curtain wall panels, you'll see that there's empty glaze and solid panels, but there aren't any doors in here. And we want to add some double doors here. So if we just come right back out and go to our doors, you'll see there's a curtain wall double glass door here. And there's a there's this curtain wall storefront double. We'll use this storefront double for this. And we're going to hit open. Then Revit's going to go ahead and load that in for us. If I tab through to that panel once once more now and come back to that properties menu, you'll see that we have another option here. So there's a storefront double door. And we'll assign that to this panel here in the center. Now let's come back up to the architectural. Let's go ahead and do our mullions. So we're going to select mullion tool. And we can actually use the all grids for this. And if I do that and hover over any of my grid lines, Revit's going to go ahead and put a mullion at each one of the grid lines that we assigned here. Now I do want to show you this grid line underneath of the doors is extraneous and any other grid line that you would need to get rid of. If you just select it and I hit my delete key, you'll see my door actually expanded to cover where that mullion was placed. And that's how we'll go ahead and complete the exterior entrance. So that's how you go ahead and lay out any curtain wall exterior door. You first start with just the curtain wall, you cut it into the wall, then you come and use your grid lines to create the design of the mullions and create the panels that you need. I showed you how you go in and assign any panel. You can select on any panel and assign doors or any kind of transparent or translucent glass to it. And here you are. I hope this video has been helpful for you and being able to now create any entrance that you should need for any of your projects with the curtain wall tool as well as using the storefront tool for more simpler storefront design that's going to have maybe a more repetitious bay that you can just come back and assign some uh, very fixed horizontal bays to in any of your projects. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Once again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.